art supplies are expensive, so today I have 10 acrylic painting hacks that really work and will save you money. Easels are super expensive, especially the large ones, but you don't need to buy an easel. I paint directly on the wall. I put a couple nails on the wall, put my large canvas on there and paint. It works really well. And when I have smaller canvases, I paint flat on a table. I do have an easel, but I don't use it all that often. You can make do with a wall and with a table for a long time. Canvases are expensive, especially the large ones, and they take up a lot of space in your house. I feel like they might be overrated, especially in the beginning. Why not paint on paper? I like painting on paper. There's a whole bunch to choose from. There's canvas paper. There's Bristol paper, which is one of my favorites. There's also canvas board, which is really inexpensive. The reason that I love painting on paper is that I have less pressure to perform and have a beautiful painting because I can try a whole bunch of things. Paper is not that expensive and it allows me to practice a whole bunch without feeling overwhelmed or intimidated by a large canvas, which I paid a lot of money for. You can have 20 paintings on paper for the price of one painting on canvas. Paint is expensive. Don't buy all the paint, as in you don't need all the colors, even if they're very attractive. All you really need are the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, with a big tube of white and some black. From there, you can make all the colors you want. You can make a beautiful burgundy by adding a dot of black to red. You can make a nice olive green color by adding a lot of black to yellow. Not only do you save a whole bunch of money, but you learn about color theory and color mixing. Wasting nice expensive acrylic paint is the worst thing. To avoid wasting paint, I like to mix my colors in a very strategic way, especially for pale colors. It's really important to put a big dot of white and then add the smallest amount of color to the white to create those pale shades. Because if you start with color and you add white to the colors, you'll add four, five, six, ten times the amount of paint that you would have needed in order to get that pale shade. And if you need a very dark shade, the same principle goes. Start with your dark pigment, add the tiniest little bit of white at a time to get your shade. That way you won't waste precious, precious paint. If you use acrylic paint, especially heavy body paints, you'll want to dilute the paint to get it a little bit more liquidy so that you can blend it on the canvas. A lot of books will recommend matte medium to dilute the paint, but you don't need to buy a special medium with acrylic paint. You can just use water. To save money, get yourself a mister, a spray bottle. You're gonna use a spray bottle for everything. You can make a texture on the canvas with it by lifting paint. You can dilute your paint by adding more water. You can also keep your palette wet with a spray bottle and a bit of saran wrap. Skip the matte medium, skip the fancy stay wet palettes just buy a spray bottle. I love the effect of impasto and painting with a palette knife but you don't need a palette knife. If you wanna try that technique, you're not sure if you're gonna like it and you don't have palette knives, you can use any number of things. I've painted a whole bunch of paintings using a spoon. You can use spatulas or anything you have on hand before investing in palette knives, which are a little bit more expensive. My dream is to have a really large glass paint palette where I can mix my paint like a professional, but you don't need to invest in a fancy paint palette you can use a garbage bag. I do it all the time. I tape a garbage bag to my table. It creates a really large area for me to mix my paints. And once I'm done, I just let the paint dry, flip the bag inside out and use it for garbage. So nothing's wasted and it didn't cost me a thing. Large paintbrushes are very useful for many techniques, blending and a whole bunch of techniques but the larger the paintbrush, the more expensive it is. Go to the hardware store. There's so many things you can find at the hardware store that is a lot less expensive than you would pay at the art supply store. Really unusual tools that you can experiment with, especially in expressive and abstract painting techniques that you wouldn't even think of because they don't have it at the art supply store. Nice paintbrushes are super expensive. 
you should take care of your brushes. How do you wash your brushes? Do you use like a fancy paintbrush soap? You don't need it. I use dish soap. It works really well. You can use shampoo, whatever liquid soap you have. As long as you rinse out the soap really well, you don't need fancy soap for your paintbrushes. What will destroy your paintbrushes is dried paint and water in the wrong places. If you wanna know how I wash and take care of my paintbrushes, go watch this video next. It's a good one. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.